Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today we're going to talk about forgetting to succeed. What is the impact of Satan on achieving our goals? It's a really interesting topic because so far we've been talking about how Satan causing, causes forgetfulness, but now we're going to talk about what is the impact on our lives, like literally on our lives, on our goals, on our New Year's resolutions, everything that we want to do. So when it comes to achieving one's goals and New Year's resolutions, Satan causing forget, forgetfulness can have a significant negative impact. Satan, through his whispers and deceit, can distract an individual from their goals and lead them to become forgetful of their commitments and intentions. This can result in individual losing sight of their objectives and becoming demotivated in their efforts to achieve them. The impact of Satan causing forgetfulness on achieving personal goals can be particularly detrimental. For example, an individual may set a goal to improve their physical health by exercising regularly, but Satan may cause them to forget their commitments to their goals, leading them to become lazy and neg uh, neglectful of their health. Similarly, Satan may cause an individual to forget their goals to improve their financial situation, leading them to make impulsive and unwise financial decisions. Satan's ability to cause forgetfulness can also have a significant impact on achieving professional goals. An individual may set a goal to advance in their career, but Satan may cause them to forget the steps they, they, that they need to achieve the success, to achieve their goals, resulting in stagnation and lack of progress. Satan may also cause an individual to forget their commitment to building and maintaining important professional relationships, leading to a lack of opportunities and support in their career. Satan's ability to cause forgetfulness can also have a significant impact on achieving spiritual goals. Now think about this. An individual may set a goal to improve their relationship with Allah, but Satan comes and it causes them to forget the commitment to prayer and other spiritual practices, resulting in a lack of connection and closeness with God. Satan may also cause an individual to forget the importance of doing good deeds and helping others, leading to a lack of spiritual growth and fulfillment. Now, I want to highlight one thing over here. Connection to Allah, connection to the Creator, connection to the God is such an important concept. We take it so lightly. We take it lightly because of the ever-deceiver shaitan, ever-deceiver Satan, ever-deceiving Iblis, who makes us forget the importance of this connection. Now think about the connection, the creator of the universe, the creator of the stars, the creator of the sun, the creator of the moon, the creator of the earth, the creator of the organisms, the creator of the metals, the creator of the animals, the creator of the chemistry, the creator of the physics, the creator of the laws that govern the entire universe, that creator is connecting with us through his book, through his prophets, through 124,000 prophets. And now the Satan person comes in and tries to ignore the importance of creating this connection with the Lord, with the God, with Allah. As a result, we ignore that connection. We think about everything else in the world, not about that particular connection. And that is what Satan does. It forgets, it makes us forget the importance of certain aspects of our life, certain aspects of the purpose of life. As a result, we always are uh, trying to figure out what is right, what is wrong, and ignore what is truly important in life. As a result, we cannot achieve our spiritual growth and fulfillment. To protect oneself from Satan causing forgetfulness and its negative impact on achieving one's goals and New Year's resolutions, it is paramount to take spiritual and practical measures. This can include, include regularly reciting du'as, as we talked about previously, and prayers that protect against shaitan, such as Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Farq, Surah Al-Nas, other surahs. Additionally, it is important to maintain a consistent spiritual practice, such as regularly reading the Quran and performing daily salah, and also making sure that we are 
staying away from what Allah has prohibited, prohibited and doing what Allah wants us to do. Practical measures can include setting reminders and writing down goals as well as regularly reviewing and reflecting on one's progress. Ultimately, the key to protecting oneself from shaitan, causing forgetfulness and achieving one's goals and New Year's resolution is to remain steadfast in one's faith and commitment to God. So, in regardless of what is happening in our daily life, we need to define certain parameters that we must follow. Once we define those certain parameters, everything else should and would come into place. But relying, by relying on God's guidance and protection, an individual can overcome shaitan's whispers and remain focused on their goals, ultimately achieving a sense of fulfillment and success in their personal, professional, and spiritual life. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum. We're going to continue with some other examples of how this has happened in other places, in other faiths.